knives, maybe some uh, Cerakoting, um, uh, maybe even some powder coating, things like that. Um, so I uh, didn't really show uh, or I didn't film any of the um, metal fabrication work just because I kind of did intend to design um, as I go. Um, but uh, I finished up painting last night and um, so I'll uh, get the pieces out here and start showing them to you. So here's the bottom. Um, all the frame is made out of uh, inch and a quarter um, angle stock and some 22 gauge uh, sheet metal. So um, basically just cut um, four sides, made a little notch in the back, uh, you'll see why here in a minute, um, and just kind of spot welded um, the sheet metal on, and here in the corners um, I welded in uh, another piece of, of angle iron um, and tap, drilled, tapped it, uh, that way it will receive some uh, bolts in the back. And I guess I should uh, clarify that um, I built this and designed it so that it can all come apart uh, if I ever needed to do maintenance to the heating element or replace fire bricks, uh, things like that. Um, speaking of fire bricks, uh, Aya knows best on eBay, uh, best seller for fire bricks ever. Um, excellent, excellent customer service um, and the best prices that I've found anywhere. So, um, anyways. So here we have the uh, back panel, again, inch and a quarter angle stock, um, and uh, something that I found kind of handy is, I don't know if you can see these, but uh, just cut off a one inch long section of angle stock, stuck it in the vise, hammered one end down, and then you end up with these little feet uh, that the frame can actually rest on when you're putting it together and it just kind of helps uh, slide it in. Um, so that will fit together like that um, here in a minute. And this is just a piece of 22 gauge sheet metal that's the back. Uh, here's the door. Um, so it's just a nine inch by nine inch. Um, the way I welded the, uh, the side pieces, um, this side here will be for the hinge and this side over here is actually the handle to open it. Um, it's kind of a interesting way to, to just weld it together and kind of incorporate a couple of different things, uh, with some basic, simple fabrication and this is the cover that goes over the door that will actually hold the fire bricks into the door as well. Um, and this is just uh, sheet metal, um, actually repurposed from an old piece of shelving um, that I had kicking around. Um, and then here is the main frame. So this is the front. Um, all the bricks will, will go in this way. This is probably where I'm going to put my uh, control panel, uh, PID controller and fuses and things like that. Um, haven't settled on that entirely. Um, now that I've got it all painted, um, I'm going to uh, cut the fire bricks for the uh, heating element um, and kind of design how the um, uh, PID controller wants to be there and things like that. Again, I design as um, anyways, inch and a quarter angle stock all the way around, um, sheet metal, uh, welded on some little tabs in the back here, um, that will also, those are also drilled and tapped, um, so there's four screws basically that kind of compress everything together and everything's kind of held together with just those four screws and compression. Um, so, mention the fire bricks. 
those out. This was in the backyard. I don't know if Bo got it or something. So I mentioned earlier the fire bricks. Um, so it's almost all constructed out of two and a half inch thick uh, by four and a half inch wide by nine inch tall, um, 2300 degree fire bricks. Um, this, these are very lightweight and very soft, uh, very easy to shape um, just with uh, basic woodworking tools, sandpaper, chisels, files, um, things like that. So um, you can see what I've done. Um, made some notches and really most of this work was just done with this old junky wood saw that I uh, found a while back. Um, anyway, so how I've designed this is I've got a half inch notch, half inch by half inch notch cut out of the top of the back and all the side brick pieces, a two and a half inch by half inch notch cut out of the bottom. You'll see why here in just a minute. <laughs> so these were actually two, these were the only uh, two-inch tall bricks that I used, um, but I got two four and a half inch by nine inch by two inch thick bricks uh, just to fill up. This space, so just cut it down the center. Um, so there's these, and then for the top pieces, top and bottom, it's just a solid brick, no cutting. And again, the sides are the same as the back, except for these end pieces. Um, there's actually an additional half inch notch cut out of those. Uh, that's so that. These two pieces can fit together like this. <clears throat> so um, I've got uh, I've got enough bricks here. I'll get one. Here's a shot of how they fit together. Um, so there's enough bricks here for uh, an 18 inch long. Um, uh, interior space, um, inside dimension is going to be six inches tall and seven inches wide, if I remember correctly, eight inches wide. Um, so with that basic shape, um, we can then kind of figure out, well, how much power do I actually need to heat this? And so I did some uh, calculations, figured out that I wanted about a 3,000 3,000 watt heating element um, to heat that up. So that basically told me right from the get-go that this is going to be a 240 volt, uh, which is fine. I've got 240 in the garage here to run my air compressor, my felt grinder, my welder, things like that. So um, that's not a big deal. Um, so I will be um, talking about the electrics and all that kind of stuff. Uh, in another video, but right now I just kind of want to show how the frame goes together and um, I'll be carving the uh, channel 